Right, we've got this cute star in the bed. I've just made it around her and she seems to be quite happy there. Peekaboo! <laughs> I'm going to take you through everything I bought yesterday. First off is some felt, embroidery thread, some ribbon, delicate little laser cut paper snowflakes, some beautiful lace ribbon for wrapping Christmas presents, a little sparkly hair bobble Mummy's going to have for her parties, and some yummy small marshmallows. So Mia has a snack now, so she's quite happy. Today we're going to make an advent calendar because... Did you bite your finger? Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. So the advent calendars that are here in the shops are, I think, Lion's Chocolate or something. I'm not entirely sure. If you're Icelandic, that's what you've grown up to and that's what you're used to. But I am feeling like I'm missing out on the Cadbury's Christmas advent calendar. So I'm going to try and make something a little bit different and a bit more useful. <laughs> because I moved to Iceland, this is not where I grew up. I also have travelled a lot in my life so far. I have collected a lot of Christmas ornaments or Christmas decorations for the tree and they've all kind of just been collected in this lovely little purse that I had in India. I decided this year we're going to actually use them as the advent calendar so every single day throughout the run up to Christmas we're going to open them and we'll put it on the tree and so by Christmas we will have a fully decorated tree with all of these ornaments plus the ornaments that we have here from your daddy. Mia is here with her snacks and her cool hair. I have so many envelopes that are this size that I just don't ever use anymore so I'm going to use those because they will hold a decoration quite well and I'm going to hang them up this way. Um, and maybe put the numbers on using the stickers that I bought. Mia can help me with. Also bought this at a charity sale last year. So I'm going to use it this year to hang the envelopes. And then the contents of it will be everything that we have that I've either bought, we've made. These are the decorations that Mia and I did last year. They're basically just salt dough. These are Mia's first ever Christmas craft, which is very exciting. And then we've got the Christmas decorations that I bought this year. And then this is full of ones that I've collected from all different places and chapters in my life so far. Cool. I basically just filled up everything with a sweet or a little biscuit for Mia. Uh, Daddy is keto so that was way more challenging so we've just stuck to me and Mia and everything is sealed up now so we can start opening them. So today we're going to make a start on the advent calendar because we've just finished putting it all up. We're going to do door number one and door number two and Mia is wondering what mommy's doing standing on the sofa. Right Mia we could do one each. You want to take that one? Yeah. Oh, and that one. Yep. <laughs> we haven't even got our tree out. We should do that actually so that we can start decorating with what's inside. Maybe we can do that tomorrow. <laughs> you've, got, you've got food all over your face. Wow. Mia. Yeah. Yay. <gasps> A sweetie for Mia, a, a sweetie, sweetie for, for Mummy, and a bow, bow tie for Daddy. Yay! Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Is that so funny? Yeah. Yay! Daddy can wear that to church today. Mm. Yummy! And I have got Yule scum, basically yeah. Christmas scum. <laughs> Christmas, yeah, scum Christmas. Yeah, it's a Christmas Quiet, tree. Quiet, Mia, Mia. Mia. <gasps> no, I'm eating as well. <laughs> yeah. More Unisco? This one's a very special one. This is a glass angel. With red wings. And I think that Gran Rosa got this when she was over in Florence. I don't think it's Polish, I think it's Italian. Let's go! Come on, let's go and choose you an outfit. 
So Mia has a gazillion dresses in here, which we're going to try and get through over Christmas. I think we're going to wear this one today. Is there a kind of festive red or green cardigan? We could wear this. Kind of Christmassy green. Here she goes. <laughs> Look at that adventure monkey. You can do it, Mia. Yeah. Yay! Up you go. Yay! And she's off. <laughs> Off to fight the polar bears. We're heading out the door and I almost forgot you guys. <laughs> so today we're heading down to Halgrimskirke, which is the main church here in Reykjavik. It's not the cathedral, but it's the Lutheran church. It's a very, very beautiful church and they're having nine lessons and carols today for the service. So we're going to get super Christmassy and join in with that. It is in English and we're all heading out. So it'll be a nice family day. <laughs> Here's the four candles of Advent. So we've got the first one lit today. This is beautiful. Oh, it smells so nice as well. Don't be rude. No, it was nice enough. No, it wasn't nice enough. You had to stand the whole time. <laughs> it's like a marathon stand up here, yeah, you know. It's, I did more squats in there than I do on my regular work. <laughs> you didn't squat. Yeah, we it wasn't a Catholic Martin. service. There's a lot more if it's a Catholic service. You sound like my dad right now. <laughs> Yes, it was a lovely service. It was so quiet though. There was hardly anyone there and I felt like between the um, choir and myself, there was no one else singing. <laughs> but I really love just blitzing out and going for it, especially when it's Christmas songs, Christmas carols. But yeah, And the was nine lessons were all about how you should believe in Jesus or you will not get anything for Christmas. <laughs> Ingemar. Like, believe in Jesus! Do you feel Christmassy now? No. No, not quite. <laughs> We've got some Christmas lights ahead. Yay. Yeah. Yes, Mrs. Mia. There's the Christmas cat, because that's such a tradition. Do you want to explain what the Christmas cat is? Yeah, so we have 13 Santa Clauses. Santa Clauses. Which you're going to talk about later. Lulat. Yeah, I'm going to talk about them later. And they have parents, and their parents are Grilla and Lapalude. They are trolls, and they have this humongous cat. And you do not mess with this cat. And if you do not get new clothes before Christmas, the cat will come and devour you. I guess instead of doing a stocking, is that right? You get presents in the shoe. So these presents would be parts of the outfit. So if you're not good leading up to Christmas, then you will be you're gonna have nothing by to a wear. Giant black cat. It yeah, will mur that. murder you and yeah. eat you in front of your siblings and your family as a warning. So Harpa has the Icelandic flag projected in the lights. Yeah, okay, it's not lit up yet. And this is the Christmas market. So they have an ice skating rink on the left hand side there. And then I think that there's small huts that shops or independent shops have all the way along here. Right, round two, has it been lit up? No! <laughs> no! Third time lucky. <sighs> it was supposed to be lit up like 15 minutes ago. 20 minutes ago now. Yeah, the police is here because there are some protesters that have chained themselves to the tree. <laughs> they think that the electricity being used is not safe enough. Sustainable enough. 
Yeah. Mm. Okay, we'll include it in another vlog. So this one has fallen asleep. So we're just gonna go home, say goodbye to the vlog for today, and we will see you at more Vlogmas adventures tomorrow. Bye guys! Bye guys!